Hi, Sarah Banis here, Learn to Craft. I'm going to show you today how to use font glyphs on uh, Cricut Design Space for iOS, so iPad or iPhone. This is incredibly easy and a great skill to have. Um, if this video is of interest to you, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. I'm coming out with new videos probably once or twice a week, just lots of fun ways uh, for you to use your machine, but also learning how to design for yourself. I have a fantastic series coming out over the next probably week that you won't want to miss. So make sure you subscribe. You'll be notified when the new videos come out. Um, let's get started here. I'm going to link in the video description this font. I just got it and I am just in love with it. Everybody should have this font. Uh, it's actually 50% off right now. So as of the time of the video, at least. Um, so I'll link that in the video description. I'm also going to link our Facebook group, Cricut for Beginners. It's about 550,000 members, super friendly, super helpful. You'll love it there. So come join us. You'll fit right in. So what you're going to do here, we're going to take this and turn this into this. Incredibly easy. Um, you're going to want to out here and you're going to go into you're going to have to go into the app store and download an app called unicode character viewer so i don't know if you saw that it's this one right here okay and then also let me just let me just step back for a second here if you do not know how to download and install fonts on an ios device it's very easy. I'm going to link in the video description also um, a video on how to do that. Super easy. So go to Browse Fonts. Sweet Boho is the one we're using. And then the first letter, that, so these are all the glyphs. Aren't those so pretty? Um, so when you're when you're designing with this, the, the way that I designed it, you can do that. You can duplicate that. Um, but you don't have to. There's a million different ways you can make this this name look. So the first letter that I switched out is that S. And then up here on the upper right, you see that arrow? Click on that. Share glyph. Copy. And then go back into Cricut. Go to this. I'm actually, let me get rid of this so that I have a little bit more room to work with. And then double click on that and then, oops. So you wanna get into right there. Okay, so now you wanna delete that S cause that's the one that you're replacing. I don't know why, but sometimes the paste option goes away. If you click shift and P, it comes back and then just get rid of the P. And then right here, that's your paste, okay, and there's your S. And also another thing with um, the iOS app is that when you put a glyph in, it adds a space, so you will need to delete that space. So the next one we're gonna switch out is the B. So let's go grab that B, browse fonts. B is super pretty. So copy. And then go back to Cricut. Maybe we want to be right there. I don't know why that's being so feisty tonight. Delete. that in there and again so it I don't know why it adds those spaces I wish that didn't happen so that's fine though isn't that so pretty already and so you can see how incredibly easy this is there's really nothing to it but just such a such an important thing to know how to do to start doing your own font work to um you know get into making your own designs so, and there's just so much that you can do with font work. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this craft. Share glyph. OK. 
happy. And then you're going to want to delete that and paste and and there you go and that's all there is to font work um so if you have any questions at all you can ask them in the video here or better yet join the group and ask me right there i'm always in the groups you're welcome to approach me with any questions or any help you might need um always happy to help and i mean that's about it like the video subscribe to my channel I'll link everything in the video description and I hope you have a good day. Bye.